Hello, this is Hank Green from EcoGeek. Let's be honest. That brand new phone that you just bought in four years is going to be an ugly, obsolete piece of crap. But let us stop and think for one moment about the most inconvenient part of having a cell phone. No, my friends, it is not the dropped calls. It is not the deadbeat customer service. It's the freaking plug. It's the fact that all of my conversing is powered by coal and that my battery runs out of juice every freaking day now. Let's get this straight. In 10 years, I bet you, you'll be able to get a phone that doesn't need a plug. First and foremost, we're gonna need better batteries. Already, car companies are beating down the doors of battery manufacturers who can promise increased power density, while companies like eStore have promised 10 times the power of advanced lithium-ion cells at one-tenth the size. And while we don't know if we can take those claims seriously, batteries will definitely be getting better in the next 10 years. Of course, even those ultra-advanced batteries couldn't power today's cell phones for more than a few weeks. So what must we do? We must make cell phones consume less power. And we'll do that with ultra-low power components. A phone like the iPhone on the cutting edge of technology will never be plugless. Those big backlit color displays, giant hard drives, and fancy graphic cards are always going to be on the edge of technology and are always going to be consuming a lot of power. But the simple parts of the phone, the only ones that are really necessary for the phone, like the microphones, the speakers, the processors, the receivers, the transmitters, all of those have been dropping in their power use dramatically in the last few years. If this continues, cell phones might one day be just like your old wristwatch. You just put it on and it works forever. But even this might not take phones truly plugless. And if not, we'll need an ambient power generator. Something that can suck energy out of the very world we live in. Now the simplest and most obvious of these is solar integration. You just slap a solar panel on the outside of your cell phone and suddenly you've got a trickle charge. Now it's true that most cell phones spend most of their lives in dark pockets, but that never stopped my solar-powered calculators from performing their function. Already several manufacturers are working on cell phones with integrated solar panels, and when combined with the next generation of batteries and power-saving techniques, it might just be enough to keep that plug at bay. But if that's not enough, I will have you know that there is power radiating through my body right now, striking me from every angle, from television broadcasts and cell phone conversations and the radio, all of these waves, these energy waves. And Nokia has figured out how to capture those ambient radio waves and convert them into useful electrical energy for their cell phones. Now it's not enough power to keep you conversing, but it is enough power to keep the phone in standby mode. So if you don't talk on your cell phone, the charge would literally last forever. It wouldn't be very useful but it would last forever. Another ambient source of energy that is always available to cell phones, your voice. While a lot of the energy from my vocal cords will inevitably be captured by the cell phone's microphone, there is enough left over to actually capture and turn into power. You might think that this sounds insane. I probably would too if I had not seen the research from Texas A&M proving not only that people are thinking about it, but that it's possible. And yes, my friends, that means that someday you will have a conversation like this. Oh. Oh, hey, uh, can you hold on a second? My cell phone's running low on batteries. Ah! And finally, we have the most low-tech solution. Frankly, I do not know why there aren't already pull strings on our cell phones. Just a simple little generator that you can wind with a quick jerk of a little embedded string to keep you conversing forever without the need for coal-fired energy. This is Hank Reed from EcoGeek, and that is how portable electronic devices are going to be separated from the scourge of coal power. If you have any questions for me or the EcoGeek team, please leave them at twitter.com slash ecogeek.